I think that you're never going to question if Edward and Bella are going to stay together. It's the look of eternal love as Edward waits for his bride, Bella, in this behind-the-scenes footage. But it's the honeymoon that Twihards are especially anxious for. Brace yourselves, it's a shirtless Edward as Bella playfully jumps on her new husband in a waterfall. On dry land, Robert Pattinson has some fun under the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Bella and I would take their honeymoon in a beautiful um, island in Brazil and uh, it starts off quite nice and just gets progressively worse. That's because Bella learns she's pregnant and they're not quite sure what exactly this baby will be. After all, Edward's a vampire and Bella is human. Edward also knows carrying this baby will put Bella's life at risk. It's crushing you from the inside out. He has to make the decision, really, between between Bella and uh, and the baby. And it's always going to be an almost impossible decision to make. That's not the only complication in the Twilight Saga breaking dawn. Let's not forget Jacob, who also loves Bella. She breaks the news that uh, she's pregnant, and that was quite a shocker for Jacob and uh, once again he loses it. Loses it indeed. Get ready to see Jacob and Edward fighting as our behind the scenes footage captures them preparing their moves. You did this. Twihards, we've got another exclusive for you, Bella and Edward's official love song. It's called A Thousand Years. It was written by singer Christina Perry, who was given the opportunity by her record label since she's such a huge Twilight fan. Before writing the song, the 25-year-old got to see the film early. Screening the film for me was one of my favorite days of all time. I went to see the movie, this little private screening with like all these Hollywood people who were like very busy on their Blackberries and like I was sitting there like crying and smiling. How can I love when I'm afraid to fall watching you stand alone? I actually recorded the song on August 13th, which is when Edward and Bella get married in the story. So uh, it's pretty um, magical.